So you're probably familiar with the deck that uses Seagate Stormcaller to copy a Neo form and get onto the battlefield a large number of mages that copy something on the stack and continually loop until they have a bajillion creatures and win. That can assemble its combo 50% of the time on turn 4. But I want to assemble the combo on turn 2 as often as possible. That is what we are here to do. Win on turn 2, maybe 1 out of every 10 times? Win on turn 2 as often as possible. The way we're going to do that is get a ley line of abundance in our opening hand, which happens about 40% of the time, and then play a mana creature, which we can tap for 2 mana because of ley line. And so on turn 2, have 2 lands, two more mana from a creature and a ley line, and then have the four mana we need for Stormcaller and Neoform. To do that, we're going to have as many dual lands as possible. So we have Botanical Sanctum, because we never have more than two lands, so it always comes into play untapped. Breeding Pool, we can always pay two life and put into play untapped. And then, uh, because of our very narrow situation, Ancient Ziggurat also is basically a dual land. It can tap for one green mana on turn one and then one blue mana on turn two for Seagate Stormcaller. We also need some other lands that can produce either a green mana on turn one or a blue mana on turn two to make sure that our lands are always right. So we have Aether Hub. Aether Hub will get you uh, one green mana on turn one for say a Gilded Goose and then a colorless on turn two which is one of what you need for Seagate Stormcaller. So that does the trick, or you play a dual land turn one and then turn two an Aether Hub, and that will get you your blue on turn two also. And finally, Unclaimed Territory. You can name uh, on turn one Bird or Elf or Dryad and get out your mana creature and then tap it for the colorless turn two for Seagate Stormcaller. Uh, and you can... Uh, play it for uh, pay you can put it down for wizard naming wizard and get your blue mana for seagate stormcaller and this deck runs 19 lands because uh, i don't know exactly how the hand smoothing algorithm works but that seemed to get me the two lands that i want uh, most most often so how are we going to do this how are we going to or how often are we going to do this how often are we going to get what we need well uh, I did some math, and this is what the math comes up with. So if we want in our opening hand, this is just the, our opening hand, no draws, if we want the perfect combo, all six cards that we need, uh, that's going to happen about 0.8% of the time. 0.79% of the time we're going to get a ley line and either a goose or a caretaker and any two lands, any two lands at all on the deck plus the combo itself, Seagate Stormcaller and Neoform, 0.8% of the time. That's less than 1%. That's not very good. What can we do to increase that? Well, that's why I added the Llanowar Elves. Uh, they don't produce blue mana, and so you're a little more constrained on your mana base, but uh, they, can, they can get out... When you can get two lands that produce blue on turn two, then you still get the mana that you need. Uh, if you're interested in the math, uh, you, you can find a hypogeometric calculator on the internet that can, that can teach you somehow that math works, but uh, I was interested in learning more, and so I did the math myself uh, on a piece of scrap paper, which I scanned in here, uh, just to, just to kind of show how, how, this, how this works. Um, this is the math for... I'm going to flip back to our uh, hands here. This is the math for adding the Llanowar Elves. So taking, having already calculated the Goose and Caretaker possibilities, how much do we increase our likelihood of drawing a winning hand by adding four Llanowar Elves to the deck? That's the question that we're going to be answering in this math. So uh, what these numbers are, uh, this is, uh, you can type this right into Google and it'll do the math for you. The top term is uh, how many copies of something you have uh, in the deck and uh, the bottom term is how many of them you want. So expressed four, choose one. That's like I have four ley lines in the deck and I want one of them. 
And so what's the probability of that? Times, uh, let's say I have four uh, Neoforms in the deck and I want one of them. Times, well, I have four Seagate Stormcallers in the deck and I want one of them. And I have four Llanowar Elves in the deck and I want one of them in my hand of seven cards. And then I've got, uh, what is this? I have 12 dual lands in the deck including my ziggurats, and I need two of them. And then I have seven other lands in the deck, but let's let's not get any of those. And then I have uh, 17 absolute garbage cards that don't help me get my combo at all. Let's say my hand starts with one of them, and I have eight gilded geese and surly caretakers, and I've already calculated the probability of getting those, and so I don't want to see any of them, so zero of them. Uh, because if I have a hand that has a goose or a caretaker, then I've already counted that, and I don't want to double count. I don't want to fool myself into thinking I'm going to get my combo uh, more often than I actually am, so I want zero of those. So that's what each of these terms mean. The, 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 each of these refers to one particular kind of card in the deck. So you multiply those uh, possibilities all together, and then divide the whole thing by the total number of possible hands, which is 60, choose 7. 60 cards in the deck, and then choose uh, 7, any 7 of them. Uh, and so what that, what that turns out to be is, uh, let's see, where is that term down here? I wrote these all out of order. This is awful math. I'm sorry you have to look at it. That is this, this term right here. Uh, it turns out that there are 287,232 possible hands that meet all of those criteria. Uh, one ley line, one Lanowar Elf, one Stormcaller, uh, one uh, Neoform, and then uh, one garbage card that doesn't help me at all, and two dual lands, and none of my other kinds of lands, and no geese uh, or uh, caretakers. 287,232 possible ways of drawing uh, those cards. <laughs> and then you divide that by the total possible number of combinations of seven card hands out of a 60 card deck, which is 386,206,290. So you do, <laughs> yeah, these numbers, you divide them together and you get zero point zero 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 seven four right which is you can move the decimal place one two and express it as a percent zero point zero seven percent zero point zero seven percent that you get a Alan lana elf and two dual lands and no caretakers and all the other stuff that you need right and so these uh six mathematical terms are uh, all the mathematically uh, distinct numbers of possibilities. So I have also a ley line, a Llanowar Elf, a Neoform, a Stormcaller, and one dual land, and then one of my other lands. So like a dual land and say an Aether Hub, uh, for instance, or an unclaimed territory. Uh, which which I can name Wizard and get my blue turn two from that, and a, and a green turn one from my dual land, and a blue turn two from my dual land, right? So that's another possible way I could win. I don't actually need two dual lands, two true dual lands, right? I can use an Aether Hub or something. So we also want to add in that possibility. Uh, and again, so I have those six cards, the, the four uh, pieces of the combo as such, the turn two combo as such, plus these two lands. And to make sure that I don't accidentally double count any hands that have goose or caretaker, which I already counted once, I'm making sure to calculate in one of my 17 other cards that I don't need at all. And so uh, that term ends up being, it's this number here, which is, uh, it's gonna increase it by 0 0.0009465. Uh, or you can express it as a percent, right? Move the decimal place, 0.09%. Well, we're getting there slowly. Um, and then there's, let's say you have a hand that has two dual lands and no other lands and 
none of the like glass pool mimics the stuff that doesn't actually help you get the combo started and no goose and caretakers as always and let's say you have an extra i don't know ley line you have all the other combo pieces and you have an extra ley line well okay what is that going to be uh well let's see that is gonna be this one it's one of these things that i multiply by four here um two dual lands here we go this guy right here uh i multiply this by four because the probability is identical for uh, a, if, you're, if your extra card is a second ley line, your extra card is a second Llanowar Elf, your extra card is a second Neoform, your extra card is a second Seagate Stormcaller. Uh, so I can, I can do the math once and then m multiply it by four because the, the math is going to be the same. And that's going to get me another 0 0.0002. <laughs> so that's the ridiculous idea of, of how this math kind of works. Uh, that, that you can calculate the probability of getting a, an exact kind of hand, an exact kind of draw, and then you can just add up those probabilities and uh, you get 0 0.0027. So that's 0.27%, uh, one quarter of a percent uh, once you add up every, every single possibility uh, of getting that hand, right? So this is the the third from the top here, Leyline of Abundance, Llanowar Elves, Seagate Stormcaller, and Neoform, uh, and then two lands, at least one of which is exactly a, a real uh, dual land. That it says by, by, by real, I mean it can produce uh, both green mana turn one and blue mana turn two. And there's a very nice, beautiful, elegant summation formula that you can write out for that, but I wanted to do the math by hand to actually just kind of get a sense of how this all works. Uh, so that pushes us over 1% between the 0 0.8 and then the 0 0.27 rounded up, uh, adding Llanowar Elves. That gives us more than a 1% chance that we'll get all the cards that we need in our opening hand. And there is a possibility that you can get, on the bottom here I show, uh, you don't even need Seagate Stormcaller. You can get two Neoforms. You can sacrifice your Gilded Goose to get out a Stormcaller and then play your second Neoform to sacrifice that Stormcaller to get out a Glass Pool Mimic and, and start the loop. And so uh, to calculate that, I, I looked at all the hands of seven cards that do not contain any Seagate Stormcallers at all and uh, that had the kind of uh, mana base that would let me actually get green, green, blue, blue on turn two. And that got me another 0.11% of possible win conditions. So we're well over 1% of having this in our starting hand. And we can actually keep more than uh, more than the perfect hands, right? We can keep any, any hand that's missing one of the cards that we need, and we can just hope to draw it. So that's what we're gonna do. So back to the, the actual deck itself here. Uh, that's what we're hoping to do. And then I have room for a few more things in the deck. And so I'm playing four Sphinxes of Foresight. So I can scry three. That will help me to draw. If I'm missing one piece of the combo that I have four of in the deck, it's a 7.5% chance to draw it, which is much better than the other numbers that we just saw, right? And so Sphinx of Foresight helps me to quadruple the number of draws that, that I might be able to get, or the number of things I can look at to find what I need. And so I got four of those. And then I'm also running for Pact of Negation. Because Pact of Negation, I don't know, it stops a turn to Shock or Bone Crusher Giant. It stops a counter spell. Uh, you know, it's, why not? I have zero mana left over, so I might as well play something that that is zero mana, and I have not a lot of use for Ornithopters. So, so that's it. Um, that's that's the deck. Um, yeah, let's let's see if we can make someone cry, right? Because wouldn't that be, whoops, wouldn't that be what you would do if you were playing and uh, somebody won turn two before you could do anything? Okay, what do I have? I have no ley line, and I always need a ley line, so I'm just gonna mull it again. Ooh, here I have my ley line, and I have my lands, and I have my mana creatures, and I have my stormcaller. I go first, meaning I'm only gonna I'm only going to get one draw.
to have an attempt to get my Neoform that I need, but that's a 7.5% chance. That's uh, right, a 4 out of 53. Uh, there's 53 other cards I haven't seen already in my library. And so I... 7.5% uh, is, is a way higher percent chance than would be uh, trying to draw a brand new hand that's better, right? Because we saw that's like 1%, 1, 1, percent, one point something percent. So might as well try and draw it off the top. Um, as far as what I'm going to play, I could play a Goose, but it's actually better to play a Caretaker because it has three toughness. So if it's a red mage with a shock, you can't shock it. That's all I got. I did not get what I needed, and I'm going to concede. I'm really only interested in winning on turn two. <clears throat> you go first. Well, no lay on in my four lands. I have four lands in my now. I'm only running 19 lands in this deck. Uh, wow, that is that is not very likely. Running running 19 lands. Huh. There's a there's a let's see 60. Choose seven. I don't know. There's a there's a there's a 1.35 percent chance that I'm gonna have this this many lands in my hand. I have no idea how the hands will algorithm works, but anyway, definitely getting rid of that. Keep six also does not have a ley line, so I'm gonna keep five. Um, I only get one draw, so I absolutely cannot get all that I need in one draw. So I'm gonna just gonna concede. Ooh, ooh, you ooh. Ooh, you go first, but... Oh, this is so close. Leyline. Land. Gilded Goose. Perfect turn one, right? Turn two. Well, I've got the Neoform, but I don't have the second land. And so I, I can't hope to draw both the land and the, the Stormcaller that I would need, even if they're on top of my library, right? I couldn't do a turn two, so I got a mulligan. Leyline. Caretaker. Seagate Stormcaller and two lands. That is very good. I only need to draw the Neoform, which is a 7.5% chance, which is way more likely than getting a better hand than this. Right, so I'll keep six, get rid of the thing that doesn't help me do anything, play that, and play... Yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's totally fine, right? Play this. So I need, I've got a 7.5% chance getting off the top of my shiny library here. Exactly a Neoform. How very sad. How very, very sad. That was not it. So you know what? Pay to life. Seagate Stormcaller. Actually, uh, can see. Oh. How sad. Leyline, mana creature. Opponent goes first, so I get two draws. Hmm. I can play Ziggurat and the Aether Hub. So I can get the blue, blue mana I need, but I'd have to draw both pieces. I'd have to draw both pieces. Um, is it is it better to, to do that? Is it better to try... Uh, actually, yeah, with, with seeing that many cards, it is going to be better, <laughs> ridiculously, than trying to dig for uh, a better hand. Right, because we're, 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 seeing, we're seeing three cards. We're seeing the top five cards of our library, right? And we're looking for two pieces of the puzzle. Uh, whereas normally we see seven cards and we're looking for four pieces of the puzzle. So actually this is better. Oh, apparently though, uh, that's absolute complete garbage because I don't need any of those at all. <laughs> so I'm almost certainly gonna just concede. Uh, yep, indeed, that is not either Neoform or Seagate Stormcaller, so I just concede. Goodbye, have a good day, sir. Okay, wow, definitely no ley line in that hand. Definitely no ley line in that hand. Uh, this has the thing, but I have no ley line. Well, down to four, I have a ley line, I have a creature, I have a neoform, I have lands. 
And then are they the right lands? Sanctum plays the Llanowar Elf. Aether Hub gives me the second blue mana. Llanowar Elf Leyline. That's green, green, blue, blue, turn two. So I can I can keep that. Uh, I don't need the Mimic, and I don't need the second Llanowar Elf. Um, oh. Oh. Keep four. Well, goodbye, Aether Hub. So now... <laughs> so I need to draw either a second Neoform or a Seagate Stormcaller, and then... And then one of the, well, let's see if that's down there, one of the 17 lands that I have. So that's like 32%, 32.08% or something like that. So it's it's about a third. And then, um, yeah, 33% chance to draw with the land. And then to get the, I can, I can get either a second Neoform or a Seagate Stormcaller. So that's like a 13% chance. So what's a third of 13? It's like four, I got like a four or 5% chance of actually getting both of the cards that I need. If you can believe it. Well, okay, unclaimed territory. That's, that means I can, I can't play two Neoforms to unclaimed territory. I cannot produce mana for a, a colored mana for a sorcery. So now I'm down to a 7.5% chance of getting the uh, Stormcaller. Yep, and I sure did not get it. Concede. Here we go. You go first, but with no Leyline, not gonna go first. Here we go. Ooh, I have the combo. And I have lands, but I have no Leyline. See, this would win turn three. Right? Uh, we can play Goose, and then we can play Llanowar Elves, and a land, and then... On turn three, we have the mana, and we win. But that's not very fun, is it? I mean, I could I could win turn three, I guess. I go first. If I keep... F uh, uh, I, I guess. I, I, I guess I'll take a turn three win. I mean, why not, right? It's not super fun winning on turn three. Hey, he's reading Ancient Cigarette. Yeah, it's great. It's it's like a dual land, but but only if you want to cast creatures. Actually, it's like everything land. Oh, I see you have a goose. I have one too. Well, if this is the game we're gonna play, I guess I might as well put out two geese just just for fun. Just for fun. And attack this one. That's right. There's a zero damage goose coming your way. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> oh, well, next turn I win, because I have this Pact of Negation, so whatever they have up their sleeve with untapped mana, I could counter for zero. Right, even if they put out two blockers this turn. No, they did not put out two blockers this turn. Let me tell you that. Well, turn three win. Uh, it feels cheap. Trying to win turn two. Like, turn, yeah, winning turn three. I mean, I'd, I'd win turn three with this combo, right? Yeah. He's looking at cards like it matters. It does not matter. I'm so sorry. I am sorry. All right, Seagate Stormcaller, and then I can tap the any colors for that, so that's fine. So, yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? Let's see. Auto pay is what I'm gonna do. Sacrifice of food, spend one. Yeah. Sacrifice of food, spend one. Yep, sacrifice creature. That creature, spend one. Good game. Oh, he conceded. That's sad. There is one other possibility. I didn't talk about in hands that can win. Uh, if you get two ley lines in your opening hand, you can win with a single land. Uh, you can have a single land and play a goose with two ley lines, and that's that's your four mana on turn two. Very unlikely. Very unlikely. No ley line. Ooh, 
Ooh, here we go. Um, you go first, meaning I only get to draw one card, meaning I'd have to find the two cards I'm missing in a single draw, which is impossible. So I'm going to mulligan this two-lay line hand. You go first. Uh, yep, keep five. Nope. Right, because I, I, I have no ley line, so... Uh, just concede. All right. Hopeless. That's how I feel. I think I just played an hour of games without getting a single turn two win. You go first with no ley line, Mulligan. You go first with a ley line and double Neo form. Oh. Can I win with this? If this, instead of being a caretaker, were a Llanowar Elf or a Goose, I could win with the double Neo form. As it stands, I need to draw the Seagate Stormcaller in order to use this early caretaker for mana. Uh, which is sad. <laughs> but I've got a 7.55% chance of drawing it uh, because there's 53 cards I have not seen in the deck. Oh, that was not it. That was definitely not it. Uh, how very sad. Well, let's do this and pass. How super, super sad. I am hopeless. Sacrifice this creature. <laughs> he gets to deal some damage to me, but I do get this uh, turn four win. That sounds like the kind of thing somebody's trying to win would do. Not the kind of thing you would try to do when you try to win turn two. But, well, you gotta start somewhere, I guess. I really don't have a lot of. Uh, Waves win in this deck. <laughs> Is this attack going to be painful? I am honestly not. Since I use one of my. This is not optimized to win in the normal way. It's optimized to uh, win turn two when there's not a lot of creatures on the other side. But still, that's what? 17 damage and 12 of it comes again. Right? So it's 29 damage. Minus, he can block eight of it, so that's 21 damage. Yep. That is what I like to call a turn four win. You know what? Hopeless, you're a nice guy. I feel bad. I feel bad that I won turn four. Uh, I said I was only going to win turn two, and then I went and I won turn four. Yuck. Yeah, that deck with the two Neoforms. And, uh, if only the Caretaker had been a goose. If only the Caretaker had been a goose. <gasps> Leyline, Neoform, Caretaker Goose, and some mana. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that. I go first. I'd rather draw first to have two chances at getting the turn two victory, but pay the life for... I'm going to play the Goose rather than the Caretaker because... Here in the Orphan, I'm going to get shot. 
uh, and I can not only draw the kick this Seagate Stormcaller, but also a second Neoform would also give me the victory. That, however, uh, is not going to give any victories to anyone. No victories to anyone. Very sad. But I had a 7 in 53 chance. Right? That's, that's like a 13% chance. I mean, it was worth keeping that hand. Definitely worth keeping that hand. Now, I am looking for another keepable hand. And maybe even a victory. Lucher. Lucher 20. Leyline. Neo form. Uh, one land. Uh, no mana creature. No Seagate Stormcaller. Technically, I... Nope. Nope. Absolutely can't keep this. <laughs> absolutely no possible mathematical way I could win on turn two with this hand. Not even slightly. Which is so sad. I see so few ley lines of abundance. Which should be 39.95% chance of seeing them. I, I feel like I see fewer. It's probably just a confirmation bias, but... Oh boy, do I not like to get rid of ley line hands. Mulligan. Uh, wow. That is absolute garbage mulligan. Ooh, ooh. Leyline, I've got the lands, I've got the Gilded Goose, right, which is better than the Caretaker because it can also get two Neo forms. Um, yeah, I'll keep five. And I'll get rid of the two Caretakers in hopes that the Sphinx of Foresight can reveal something decent. Well, there's the Seagate Stormcaller. All right, so all I need now is, uh, all I need now is I need exactly this card under it to be exactly a Neoform, which is a 7.55% chance. Well, that is pretty not great odds, but I will take it. And I have to, you know, survive, like my goose can't get cooked. So, <gasps> what? That was very unlikely. <laughs> he paid too. Uh, yeah. Let's let's play Seagate Stormcaller. <laughs> that was that was oh, what a wonderful development. Sacrifice the food. Add a mana of a blue color. Sacrifice this food. Leyline adds an additional green. Play a Neo form. Sacrifice a creature, Seagate Stormcaller, put out onto the battlefield. A dual caster mage. And not just one dual caster mage. Not just one dual caster mage, friends. Not just two dual caster mages. Oh, lose your XX. You're sitting there going, really? This person is winning on turn two? Let me tell you, it does not happen very often. It really does not happen very often. Not very often at all. Oh boy. It feels so nice. <laughs> it feels uh, so nice. Mm. Victory. Haven't seen that screen in a while. <laughs> oh. Sphinx of Foresight, let me draw the Neoform off the top. That was pretty great. That was pretty great. Well, well, well. Not so hopeless anymore, are we? I wonder if I can get another victory today. Let's find out. Yuris. From Yus Yuris. Well, that is not going to do it. I need... I need... Completely different cards. Mulligan. Ooh, Leyline, Stormcaller, Sphinx of Foresight, opponent goes first. Two lands, including some dual lands. Right. So, 
Sphinx of Foresight needs to draw me a Neoform and a mana creature. Mm, I mean, I guess if I've kept hands... If I've kept hands that uh, need to draw two cards that are less likely than the mana creatures, I'll keep it. The question is, what do I get rid of? If, I, I would keep two Seagate Stormcallers against a Thoughtseize? Right, but I'd keep a Pact of Negation against a Shock? I guess Pact of Negation is better against and, and Counter Spells, so yeah. Just hope they're not playing. Oh, they have a Gigantha. Well, I should have uh, looked at that. Yeah, I'm not super worried about Thoughtseize. Don't usually see those together. All right, so I need a mana creature. That's what I need. I need help. Okay. Well, <laughs> that that was not it, friends. That was not it. Mana creature? Nope. That's a land. We're just gonna concede. Well, I tried. I tried. With 12 mana creatures out of 53, that's a 22.64% chance. And I got to scry three. So I got four 22 to 23% chances all in a row. I mean, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Losing four of those in a row, right? Oof. Oof, I say. Hmm. Does not feel good does not feel good. Oh well. Oh well. We tried. Didn't get that mana creature. Furious McRage. What a wonderful name. <laughs> uh, Neoform stuff. No ley line. No ley line. No ley line. No ley line. Any ley lines? Let's get all the no ley line hands out. Let's just work all the no ley line hands out of our system. Okay, now we're back on the ley lines. That's great. Now we're ready to go play some games where we actually get some keepable hands. That's what we're doing. Hey, Lucher XX! You're the guy I beat before! Well, now you'll get to see. You're. I remember that because it's the only time I've won the entire day. Now you'll get to see that this rarely works. Oh, so sad. Need the ley line in my opening hand. Can't hope to sphinx it. Has to be in my opening hand. Very sad. Very sad indeed. Mulligan. Ley line. Goose. Neoform. Sphinx of Foresight, a single land. Seagate Stormcaller. That's interesting. So I have Goose gets me blue, green, colorless. So I need any land at all. Any land at all. And opponent goes first. Meaning any land at all. And I. And if he can't kill my Goose, I, I win. And I have a Sphinx of Foresight. And this is the only guy I've beaten all day in like an hour and a half. <laughs> Magic Arena, why do you hate Lucher XX? What did what did Lucher 20 ever do to you? What did he ever do to you, I ask? This is like a Batman origin story. Like I was defeated twice on turn two and then I went crazy and, and, and became a vigilante hunting down Seagate Stormcaller Neoform decks. Did, running main deck enchantment hate in all of my decks to destroy ley lines. Like this this is this is how you make a super villain, right? What did I say need? Any land? Oh look, zero lands. But I have two draws to do it, so you know, not terrible. Mm -hmm. Unclaimed territory. Yeah, I can name wizard with that. Get blue and then colorless and then blue green. Uh, I guess I can also name bird and, 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 and play that. I mean, 
mean, that's six of one half dozen the other. But this is so hilarious. I should I should do this, right? Name bird and play a goose and say go and then tap that for colorless turn two, tap that for blue turn two, play stormcaller, tap gilded goose for blue green, play neoform, win on turn two for the second time all day against the same opponent. Against the very same opponent. <laughs> the only person. The only person. Like I played for an hour more than an hour straight without winning today, which is not terribly unlikely since we we have a uh, a what what, what do we see a 1.18 uh, percent chance of starting with a hand that's good, right? Uh, <laughs> and now the only person, the only person that I actually get a win against is this guy. Uh, ooh, ooh, black. Maybe he's got a thought seize. That would ruin my day. Nope, just got that. Oh, well, here's Aether Hub. And here's Seagate Stormcaller. Here's Auto Pay. Oh, I feel so bad for, for Lucha 20 over there. Like, Magic Arena. This poor person. Like, you, you're feeding me these hands, and. And, and why? Why against him? What did Lutra XX do to deserve this? What did Lutra XX do to deserve such an awful fate? I'm so sorry! Lutra XX, wherever you are, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry! Oh, I feel so bad! I feel so bad! Oh... Oh, poor Lutra XX. Oh, well, that is how the deck works. All right, can I get a third tier to win? Or we just call it a day. We just call it a day. Dorian Wells. Will you be the lucky opponent? The lucky second opponent? You go first with Neoform. Land. Goose, turn two, name wizard, Stormcaller, Neoform. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will keep that. I will so keep that. Wowzers. Here we go. All right. What would the perfect draw be? Pact of Negation. Doesn't matter. Here we go. Naming wizard. Done. Tapping this. Yes. Playing Neoform. Auto pay. Sacrifice a creature. Well, you're two extra life. Uh, it's not going to save you. Because I have four three threes, and then something that gives me an entire second, uh, second attack phase. This click. I'm so worried. Click good game, and I accidentally make the wrong creature. Or something. Oh, yep. <laughs> Was that a good game? Good opponent, Dorian Wells. What a swell person. Gave me a good game, even though. Wow. In what? In what ways was that a good game? Play a single land. Opponent wins. Hmm, not a good game, by any definition of game. But great opponent. There we go. That's it. That's that's how it's played. 1.18%. That's what we're about here. That 1.18% chance. Uh, yep, that's the deck. Once call time is printed, it will have the blue-green pathway lands instead of these weird unclaimed territories. But uh, yeah, there it is. Have a great day, everybody. Good luck winning turn two.